Good morning all. Today I'm going to do a bit of a different kind of sculpture for you. This is a uh, um, a wall mural plaque. It's made from 2x8 pine and the idea is to give the impression of sand, of a sculpted beach scene or drifts of something. It could be snow, it could be anything. But this is going to be one of a couple. So these are going to hang together. So I got that one. And I'm going to show you how I make this into this. I've got that wrong way around, I think. So you're going to see how it's going to follow and flow between the different ones. I don't spend a lot of time on making the uh, drawing these. I just look at it, give it a, a rough idea. Pencil, do some lines. What you're gonna see is all the pencil lines are going to be the peaks. Everything in the middle is going to be removed. Uh, to do that, I'm gonna be using three pretty important bits of kit. First, I'm going to be using an angle grinder and I'm going to be using this wood carving bit. This is from Axminster, costs about 25 pounds. That's going to do the rough shaping. Then I'm going to go into a saber bit. It's a bit clogged, but it cleans out really easy. And then I will be going on to a flap disc. That's going to give me my different stages before I start hand sanding. Alright, so uh, I will get my big one up on the grinder and we will get started. Okay, before I get started, let me just do some real quick uh, uh, safety tips. Hearing protection, a must. I'm using an angle grinder, it's very loud. I'm going to be making a huge amount of man glitter, lots of dust. Maybe you can just see my floor. That's from about half an hour of it. It goes everywhere. Wear one of those glasses. And of course, gloves. Look at this blade. It's an angle grinder. It's been moving about a centimeter away from my finger. One slip and that finger is gone. So heavy reinforce. I've used uh, chainsaw gloves before, but I find they're actually quite uh, cumbersome doing this. So I use the next thing I can find. All right. Okay. All clamp down, ready to go. Here's my angle grinder. It's a variable speed one from uh, Screwfix. It's a Titan, I believe. Not the best, but it gets the job done. I like having the, I prefer variable speed. Especially when I'm switching the different bits and the uh, uh, flat disc gives you a lot more control. Anyhow, here we go. Okay, that's given us a really rough shape. You can see how aggressively that bit bites in there. 
So now it's going to switch to the Sabre 4 inch um, blade and start to smooth that out. Alright, that's the Sabre Tooth blade. Now, as I've taken the guard off, there's nothing on the back that is going to catch my finger, but still need to be extremely careful, especially with a, any loose clothing. So the saber smoothed the rough bits out quite a bit. Now it's time to switch over to the uh, flat disc. And notice what I'm trying to do is I try not to go more than halfway down into the wood. When you do that, you can start to get cupping on the inside. Right, first off, I'm going to start with a 40 grit. Then I'm going to do an 80, then a 120 before I start doing the uh, hand sanding. Alright, so I want to see how that's matching up to the other one. Yeah, we're looking pretty good so far. Yeah, so when they're on the wall, they probably have a two inch gap between them. Looks something like that. But that's our big heavy shaping done. Now we are going on to um, sandpaper. Right, still using the angle grinder. Replacing the discs. Uh, flat disc with a hook and loop system. This is a, a cheapy one from uh, Little. It's about three pounds. Then I use these foam backing pads. They're soft and squishy. Stick it right on there. And off we go. Make sure when you do this you have the red RPMs quite low or that whole thing will just go flying away. All right, I'm going to progress onto the ArborTech Mini Contour Sander. These things are excellent. Uh, really good for getting your little tight spots. This shaft basically turns this into a little orbital sander. Um, this is why the variable speeds uh, on the angle grinder are important. You don't want to put that on and run it at 30,000 RPM. Um, not because you can damage that, but because the pad is not going to take it. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're getting there with the shape. What I'm going to do now is give it a quick uh, torch. It's going to help me identify any uh, uh, bad spots I really need to be looking at. It's also going to make the sanding a bit easier. It's going to harden that surface layer a bit. So after this step, it's just going to be a whole lot of sand. We're going to try to do it to about a 600 grit texture.
That's all I'm going to do. So what is identified to me is I've got a few places that are quite, uh, would just take too much sanding to be practical. So I'm going to touch it back up with the flat disc just for a minute and then back to sanding. Okay, we're good. So now it's just a case of sand. Lots of sanding. And sand. Okay, so that's all sanded to 120 grit. Now I'm going to start moving up to the 240, and then it will be all by hand to uh, 600. Okay, so that is sanded up to 400, so now it's time to go up to 6, but do it by hand. Fun stuff. And I just do this a couple times, because this is more of a polish, really. Uh, then I will... Add the uh, stain, which is going to be U stain. That's Y E W, not Y O U. And then I will sand it again. And we'll be done. Then we'll start on the uh, next one. Alright, so basically that's that. Yeah. That's how I make one of those. I hope you enjoyed this, hope you enjoyed watching. If you like it, please subscribe. Um, I'll make some more. Thank you much.